Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Gregory Bever, Tucker Hockey Distributing. On this week's Wednesday with Greg, we want to talk a little bit about alcohol. Are we talking about my favorite beer or what? No, we're talking about gasohol or gasoline mixed with alcohol, um, which is commonly referred to E10 or E15. Now, we've been doing a little reading and found that uh, there's no gas stations around with regular old gas anymore. It's E10 or E15. There is one website we found called puregas.com. Now, this is a website that you can actually go to your state and select it, and you can see gas stations that still provide pure gasoline. But it's very, very rare. So, Kyle and I took it upon ourselves. We're going to check out some products that I currently sell that will help you or, we, or they say they will help you keep your fuel from damaging your motorcycle. You guys remember when the government said, we're gonna mandate you have to run four gallons, of, you have to buy at least four gallons at a time? The reason they did that is because if you're in a mixer pump that has E10 and E15, they wanna make sure that you get all the uh, E15 out or diluted enough not, so it's not gonna hurt your bike, because it will. If you got a, a motorcycle that's older than five years old, it's gonna hurt your bike. So let's jump back a little bit. What is an E10 or an E15 and how does it affect your motorcycle? An E10 is a gasoline that has 10% alcohol from, from corn, essentially, and the rest of it's gasoline. That doesn't really affect negatively our motorcycles as much as, say, an E15, which could eat up intake manifold boots, deteriorate rubber hoses. It's extremely bad for motorcycles. What happens is the ethanol in the E15 Will, will hold water in it. And then if your bike sits for a while, that water will eventually separate and go to the bottom of your tank and start to rust, or your carburetors right away. So not a good situation. So we're gonna find which chemicals you can purchase that will help you keep your motorcycle running for a long time. Now do your research. There are some gas stations that still offer uh, gas other than say E15 or E10. So they are out there. Any Chevron you go to that you get premium fuel, you're not ever going to get E15. At least that's what I've heard from some Chevron representatives. Good information. Yeah. You want to keep as low alcohol content in your gas as you can get. The more alcohol you have inside your gallon of gas, the, le the less expensive the gas will be. But reports have shown fuel mileage to decrease with the use of E15. You know, I used to race go-karts years ago, and some of the guys were adding methanol or ethanol and it took two and a half times as much of that to go as far as gasoline would go per gallon. It produced a lot of horsepower, but and I wonder what this stuff's going to do to valve guides and things like that. Yeah, that's a little scary. I have an old motorcycle, and I have new guides in it for gasoline, but what about this E15 and E10? Not so good. So eventually they're probably going to be selling retrofit kits. So you'd be able to take your motorcycle and retrofit pieces onto it in order to make it compliant to, say, the E15, but that's definitely way way down the road yeah so today what can you do there are specific chemicals you can put into your gasoline before you fill up to kind of knock out the effects of say this ethanol that we're putting into the gas and is it cost effective no no i have to figure that out how much is it going to cost you per gallon and then you take that and figure out how much you ride and figure out how long your bike is going to last because the effects of alcohol are going to deteriorate we don't know but we're going to find out we'll get so, back to you on that Key oil or gas manufacturers such as Lucas, Stable, people like that, have special additives that you can put into your gas tank, you know, by the ounce. These products counteract the effects that the ethanol would have. So just recently, we have started to see the E15 roll out to numerous gas stations here in Northern California. It's going to hit the rest of the country as well, but it's slowly being rolled out. Great. So Greg and I are going to go back and do some research on E15 and the effects that it could possibly have on your motorcycle. We're also going to come back with our recommendations for the do's and the don'ts. What do you want to do or add to your motorcycle in order to preserve it? And what do you not want to do in order to eliminate the possibility of damaging your motorcycle's internal components? Thank you for watching this week's Wednesday with Greg. And ride safe.